Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be having a look at the New Relic integration inside of Hazura Cloud. New Relic is a logging utility that allows you to check the performance and the behavior and the life of your application. To enable New Relic, we're going to head over to our project console and I'm going to be adding this to my colors project today. To do that, I'll, I'll head to the gear and from there I will navigate to integrations and I will choose New Relic. If you are interested in Datadog, you can view our other video. I need to upgrade this project to a paid solution. And now I'm being requested to add in the information here. To do that, I am going to head over to my New Relic account. I already am already authenticated inside of New Relic. Uh, that is outside of the scope of this project. And we will go ahead and head to our API key settings. API keys. By the time you're watching this video, it is possible that this will be a slightly different workflow. Do check the New Relic documentation. But essentially what you're looking for is the insert, uh, is the insights insert keys. Now that will take us to a different UI. And here I'm going to simply create a new one that I will pre prefix as Hazura colors. I'm going to save that and now I will show this key, copy that, head over to my, make sure I don't have any spaces, I'll copy this key. I will head over to my project, add the API key and now I'm going to go ahead and hit save. You'll notice that it's automatically grabbing the Hazura Cloud host and it's providing uh, a service name which is the name of my project. It, you could add in additional custom attributes here that is outside of the scope of this video. If you have any more questions on custom attributes, do read more. We'll go ahead and hit save. Now it's waiting for our first uh, events to send over. Let's go ahead and simulate a couple of those now. We'll head over to the API and we're just going to grab a couple of colors here and we'll grab the name and let's grab the RGB value uh, on that. And I will go ahead and simulate just a couple of queries. That seems like that should be enough. Let's go ahead and see if we have sent those off. And we do see that it has gone ahead and sent those over to New Relic. Let's view those logs, which will take us to the New Relic interface. And we'll see right here at the very end of our of our scoped window uh, some behavior. So seven uh, queries, it looks like. That's all there is to understanding how to add New Relic to Hazura Cloud. New Relic and the various other logging integrations allow you to really measure the things that matter as well as measure them correctly. In the next video, we'll look at even more advanced features of Hazura Cloud.